Hi, Bashar. Andy, you good day. Um, my question is, I've speak been, up, speak up. I've been following my highest joy, I think, my entire life. You think? <laughs> Doesn't well, sound very convincing. Well, since I was li- since I was a little girl, yes. I always wanted to be a designer, and all the through my entire life, I've gone to design school. Yes. A designer of what? Clothes. All right. And okay. are you doing that? Yes. All right. So you are living one of your dreams, yes? Yes. All right, thank you. Okay, and then, um, and I started my own business, and years ago, when I started it, it just went through the roof. I had so much business, it was scary. Why was it scary? (laughs) Because we we could hardly handle the, the, the amount of business that we had. All right, and so what did you do? Well, we tried to... Did you scale back? No, we didn't try to. We kept trying to grow with it, but now... Why did you try to grow with it instead of simply growing? Well, well, I think we we were. I, I mean, t- to the best of my ability. That at that time. Yes, at that time. All right, and now. And now it's like I try and I try. Stop and trying. <laughs> Nothing is ever accomplished by trying. It is only accomplished by doing something. By being a particular frequency. By living. A particular way. Right. Do you have a picture in your head of your ideal scenario with you in it? Yes. How different is it from your scenario now? Pretty different. All right. Imagine for a moment, whether your eyes are open or closed is up to you. Imagine for a moment that scenario where you see yourself in that scenario. Do you see it? Mm Mm-hmm. All right. Now. Pay attention to that version of you closely. Do you see her doing things? Well, it's just a moment, but yes. Just a moment. (laughs) All right, well, stretch it out. See her going about her day in this ideal scenario. Okay. Whether it be actually at work or at play or at home, see her the way she would be behaving in that reality. Do you see her? Yes. Is she behaving differently than you behave on a day-to-day basis? Yes, but the situations are different. Uh, like uh, in uh, my uh, vision. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> Don't get ahead of the game. Okay. Do you see her behaving differently? Yes. Regardless of the circumstances, you need to behave as she does. In all ways, she would behave in any circumstance that occurred. You're not being her. Her, she, would behave as she chooses to behave regardless of how things look around her because what does she know that you don't? She knows that circumstances don't matter, only state of being does. Why? Because circumstances are an illusion. They're neutral. They're props. They don't mean anything. They're empty. Devoid of meaning. So no matter what happens to her, she's still going to behave like the she she wants to be. She's not going to take her behavioral cue from the circumstances around her. She's going to allow the circumstances around her to take their cue from her. You follow along here? Uh Uh-huh. Uh So, the reason you have the ability to visualize the ideal situation is so that you can use it like a mirror, so that you can mimic it, so that you can behave like her in all situations, regardless of what the circumstances are that surround you. When you start doing that, you will be the vibration of that being, and when you're the vibration of that being, you will then be capable of seeing opportunities you can't see. Because you're not the vibration of those opportunities like she is. Anytime you are not the vibration of something, it's invisible to you. So you will not see the doorways and the opportunities you could walk through or you could attract to yourself if you are not the vibration that she is being because she can see them, but you can't because you're not being her. Make sense? Mm -hmm. Do you think you can do that? I'm afraid that when I walk away, you yes. know, just I'm just afraid that like when I get home yes. and, I, and I try to do it, I'm going to have, it's like I, I hear all this stuff and I know it. But you but don't it, believe it. No, I do believe it. But it's like I can't, it's like I can't change into. Why I can't, not? 
I don't know. Yes, you do. <laughs> you said it yourself. You're afraid. What are you afraid of? I don't know. Yes, you do. What are you afraid of? Let's paint the scenario. Imagine it. Didn't you hear us before say, if you have a fear, let's magnify it. Let's amplify it. What's the worst thing that might happen? If you, as you say, try, which I'm not recommending. <laughs> but if you attempt to be like her, what's the worst thing you fear might happen? Come, come. I, I don't. I don't know. I yes, guess, you do. Well, the only thing I can think of is what happened the first time. Which would be I, what? That I got so busy yes. that I couldn't handle it, and it scared me. Maybe, I, but I don't know if that's the answer. I don't know if that's All right. right. All right. Let's, for the moment, assume that it is. So let's say you started to get busy again. Yes. Yes. All right. Let's say so busy that you needed assistance. Yes. Yes. Is there some reason you couldn't attract assistance? No, I, I, no, I had him. <laughs> then why were you scared? Well, no, I, I wasn't, but um, like, okay, so... Well, when I... did you get scared? Obviously, at some point in this entire scenario, you became scared. Yeah. When was that? Well, I, um... Don't tell me you don't know. No, I, I mean, I remember moments when we were so busy and, yes. and I wouldn't sleep through the night because I didn't think we were going to ship product and people were going to cancel these huge orders. And if they can't say some of them were so big, if they canceled one order, it'd be put, put, put me out of business. And you were afraid of that? Yeah. I believe you need to know and learn the sacred mantra. You want it? Yes. Yes. It's two words. Are you ready? Yes. Repeat after me. Okay. Are you ready? Yes. Repeat after me. So what? <laughs> so what? Big deal. So I lose a deal. Big deal. I'll get another. I'll learn from it and rearrange things and attract what I need and get another. It's not permanent. All right, I made a little mistake, but I learned. Isn't that the point of mistakes? Mm -hmm. To go down roads to discover what doesn't work so that you can discover what does? The difficulty that you've created for yourself is in your negative reaction to certain scenarios. Right. Well, you have to not react negatively to those scenarios to get them to work for you. Because if you don't put a positive meaning into even that kind of circumstance, you're never going to get the positive effect from that circumstance. You're only going to get the negative one based on the negative meaning you put into that thing happening. Make sense? Mm -hmm. So what you are now going to be practicing, I assume, <laughs> tell me, please, <laughs> is the idea that no matter what happens as you build your business, as you follow your excitement, no matter what happens, you are going to know, not guess, not wonder, not even believe, you're going to know that what just happened, whatever it is, is going to serve you like never before. Okay. You have to know that. And thus, when you know that, you will behave like you know it. Okay. It won't be, ooh, that happened. <laughs> Ooh, look at the body language. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. You think this is the right vibration to find a solution? <laughs> no. Do you understand? Yes. You need to be her. Okay. In all circumstances, no matter what. Are you? Her? Is that who you prefer to be? Yes then that's who you must behave like, no matter what. Because that's what she would do. You understand? Mm -hmm. That's what she would do, no matter what. Because that's the kind of life she lives. Because that's the kind of life she prefers to live, no matter what. And she knows the sacred mantra. So what? <laughs> this happens, so what? All right, I've learned something. Let's pick ourselves up and move forward. Okay. That's the behavior. That's the stance. That's the body language. That's the energy. Make sense? Mm -hmm. Are you sure? I, yeah. All right. 
Okay, and I have one. I have another question. Yes. Um, the, the, the 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 glyphs. So sac the sacred cir the, the circuits. Yes. Uh, yes. The, okay, I've been um, staring at them, and and it's like because uh, I, I maybe because I've been so negative, but I'm trying to get something to work. Is there? You sure try a lot. <laughs> I know I do. Do you not see how the very definition of what you're saying includes the formula for defeat? No. Yes. I try, which means you don't really believe it's going to work. Okay. You're just trying it. Okay. You're not gravitating to it. You're not attracting yourself to it, knowing that it's just a reflection. You're trying to get that to work. It's just a permission slip. All tools are permission slips. The tool only triggers the ability for you to give yourself permission to be who you are. The tool doesn't do it for you. You have to attract yourself to whatever tool, if you need a tool at all, that is simply aligned with your belief system so that the tool will trigger you to allow yourself to give yourself permission to let it be all right to be who you know you would prefer to be. Okay. You can't try to get the circuit to work for you. You just have to find that you work for it. You gravitate. It's a relationship. You work together. You work with it. You understand? Mm -hmm. But if you don't find that in that sense you are attracted to it, then attract what does reflect permission to you. You have to use your imagination and open up to the possibility that something else may work for you. But the bottom line is you're the one who's changing. You're the one who's working. These are just reflections. They're just reflections. Do you understand this? You're trying too hard. You need to relax. Relax. What's your rush? You're an eternal, infinite being. What's your hurry? Where are you going? The only place you're ever going to wind up is right here and right now. Anytime you look around, what time is it? Now. <laughs> oh, what time is it now? Now. What's your hurry? Where have you got to go in such a rush? Well, slow down. Enjoy. Be here. Enjoy. Whatever you're doing, enjoy it. Does that help you? It does. Thank you. Thank you. I love you, Bashar. Our unconditional love to you as well. <laughs>